Okay, drilling. Um, you can drill freehand, you can drill by laying your stone in the bottom of a bowl. A lot of people make the shape of their bead and then drill the hole in the center, a rough shape. Some people, they just make it the shape and then drill the hole. Um, I'm not really sure how long ago, probably 1980 or so, I decided the best way for me to drill was using a, a Fordham drill press. They're really stout, they give you perfect up and down movement. You can control the speed from real slow to real fast, which I never go real fast. Um, the way I solved the water problem is I built little trays. These trays are just made out of a copper sheet or brass sheet, I don't really remember. In the tray, I have on the bottom a piece of hard stone, it can be agate, jade, whatever. A piece of hard stone. The main reason you have the hard stone there, let me set this one in here, is when you drill through a bead, if you just have it like on something soft, as you get, almost break through the back side of the bead that you get what's called blowout, it'll pop out from pressure, it'll prop, pop out a conchoidal blowout, you know, so then all of a sudden you got a real wide spot on your uh, bead that you're going to have to deal with or leave it there or whatever. And what I'll do when we get ready to really get going in drilling is I'll get this clamp down and then I'll get my water going and I'll drill just slightly into that, this piece of stone. And then that, that'll end up centering this drill to that lower hole. And then when I start drilling the bead planks, there's little to no blowout, you know, and that, that's something that you really need to know. So we'll get to some other stuff. Okay, I'm going to talk a little bit about diamond drills. Um, I typically, on my beads, use anywhere from three quarters of a millimeter, which is rare anymore. And I go two millimeters, maybe two and a half. So what I used to do always, this is a three quarter millimeter right here. And then this is a one millimeter. I used to always start out with a three quarter millimeter and then work my way up. The reason that you start out with a smaller hole is you're, you're trying to get the center of your hole out of the way with the least amount of material removal. So, that said, if you drill your hole with a one millimeter, say, which is what I'll be doing, in this series, is all, my, my original hole is going to be a one millimeter hole. And in doing that, it's the least resistance to get a hole in the stone. You know, whether it's soft stone or hard stone, or it doesn't really matter. Because of the diameter of the drill, you're only trying to remove that much material. And the, the hardest place for the drill to get rid of material is dead center on the hole. Okay, again, that said, when you start drilling, and a lot of this stuff I'm gonna talk about right now is pretty critical, you place your tip of your drill on your mark, or if you're just doing it visually, you place the tip on the, the the blank or the piece of the agate that you're drilling a hole in or whatever you're, you're drilling, you touch it down real light. A lot of times it'll try to walk off one direction or another and you slowly hold it in that spot till it seats itself. It'll make itself a little spot to where it's 
secure, and then you start drilling. You have to let the diamond drill work at its own speed. Pushing down on it harder doesn't make it go any faster. If you push too hard, you typically knock the diamond off the face of the drill, um, or you're going to bend the shank. You know, I, I probably sold, I'll say a half a million, it might, might be a million, diamond drills when we had the diamond tool business. And typically when, it, when somebody would call and complain about the quality of drill, I, I would start explaining what I'm explaining right now. You can't, can't, another way to really screw up a diamond drill is have it run too, running way too fast. It, for one thing, if it's running real fast, it's going to throw the water out of the hole. You have a, a possibility of throwing the water out of the hole. So you, those are the two quickest ways to ruin a diamond drill is pushing it too hard and running it too fast. Okay, now to the actual drilling part of the drill. The only place that the drill drills is the face of the drill. It, it decides that there's diamond on the side on all of them. The sides don't really cut, it, the, the, the part that's making your hole is the face of the drill. So if, you, if you're getting ready to drill and you look at the face of your drill with a loop and there's little to no diamond there, don't even bother putting the, the drill in your chuck, it's going to not work. You know, here, once we get drilling, I'll, I'll give you some demonstrations on how how I utilize all of this stuff, but those are insights on diamond drills and how to ruin them.